You're tuned in to The Trailblazers, where Danny and I are discovering the most eclectic, exciting millennials whose ventures are using technology for huge social impact. Now, many of us might look to a cup of coffee or an energy drink or two to get a boost when we're flagging, right? And on the other hand, perhaps some soothing music to bring our tempo down when we want to chill out. But how about an alternative? Now we found a new piece of wearable kit called Doppel that claims to work with your body's natural biorhythm to impact your mood by either intensifying your performance rate and making you more alert or doing the complete opposite to calm you down. This nifty device is based on haptic technology, which I'll demystify later in the Not Just a Geek Thing segment. Now the founders call their device an empathic wearable. It's something that goes beyond just monitoring or tracking and actually does something to the wearer. With an app on your phone, you measure your resting heart rate, upload this to Doppel, and then you adjust the device's tactile beat up or down, depending on how you want to feel. It's fascinating, isn't it? And that's why they made our cut to be featured on the Trailblazers. Now, Danny played guinea pig earlier to test the device on himself. But first, I met one of the co-founders, Nell Bennett, to get the full scoop and find out exactly how it works. Nell, we're really happy to have you in the Trailblazer, so thanks for doing this. Thank you for having us. So we've got Doppel at a very exciting and pivotal time, right? Because you guys just closed and exceeded a Kickstarter campaign last month, so well done on that. Now Doppel caught my eye because this tech appears to work with our body's natural biorhythm, which I'm all for, rather than sort of resorting to an energy drink or coffee. And if you can customize me a setting that gets me revved up about doing the laundry, I'll be forever indebted to you. But jokes aside, talk us through what Doppel does exactly for the wearer. So what's inside is a small vibration motor. And what this does is it provides a small haptic beat onto the inside of your wrist. So um, it plays a rhythm a little bit like a heartbeat. Um, and it can either be fast or slow. And this can make you feel more alert or more relaxed. Now how this works is intervening between the feedback loop between your brain and your body. So it feels like a heart rate, and so when it's going faster, your brain thinks that your heart rate is going faster, even though it's the small mechanical heart rate that's playing on your wrist. And so the faster it goes, the more alert you feel, the slower it goes, the more relaxed you feel. Gotcha. And also because your body's emotion does respond to your heart rate, isn't it? So when the co-founders at Team Turquoise got together, what sparked the idea for this? Because I think he was saying to me off camera earlier that you guys have worked very closely with a psychologist. True. So when we were at the Royal College of Art and Imperial College London, uh, we were looking into how technology can actually be beneficial for us. How can it actually make us even better than we already are? Um, so we started looking into um, various experiments where you can play with your perception of your body or biofeedback rhythms and how you can become more aware just through simple technological in innovations. Oh, that's fascinating stuff. Now, forgive me while I play devil's advocate just a little bit here, but on behalf of folks watching, I have to ask, how confident are you guys, right, of this claim that Doppel will tangibly impact one's mood. I mean, will everyone that tries one on actually feel a difference, do you think? So we're very confident. So far we've run 250 tests with um, volunteers and people general in the general public, uh, just trying it at home and in natural scenarios in their day. Um, we had really good responses from that. Everybody felt a benefit and they could either wind down to go to sleep or feel more focused. Now in some people it's a lot more concentrated than others, like how some people feel a lot more affected by a coffee than others. So it is very um, personal, um, but that's what's exciting as well about this technology, that it's really beneficial for you, but it's a personal benefit. Now, performance or mood impacting tools tend to always be up for comment. And Doppel, however, feels to me more like a natural intervention, let's call it. Do you, however, foresee any ethical criticism of Doppel in the future? And I'm putting you on the spot here. No, it's fine. Obviously, there could very well be um, applications that could be compromising ethically. Um, this isn't something that worries us too much because at the moment we're the only people obviously developing this new technology and it's up to us to define which track it goes down and by example through branding and by product placement we can try and make it go down what we view to be a very ethical route so probably more down health technology, soft health maybe rather than controlling. Nell, I want to switch tracks a little bit and get a bit personal and get your take on a couple of things. Have you always had an artistic bent of mind? 
Yeah, my parents were amazing from since before I can remember. Um, they allowed me to paint all over the windows or, I don't know, roll around in paint probably as well. Um, and again, uh, when I was 14, I think, I was given the attic and painted dolphins all over it. And, uh, I can see you doing that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I still have it. It's quite cool for me. And then what did Nell say at 16 think she'd be doing now? Well, I never thought I'd be running a startup. Um, I thought I'd probably be in a big consultancy, again, hopefully designing really cool products for really cool people. Um, but this is a lot more exciting. It's a lot more hard work, but uh, it's very, very rewarding. And uh, I think the excitement of not exactly knowing where it's going to go is, is very exhilarating. The best things can be really unexpected. Exactly. Yeah. Nell, I love your sort of natural, infectious energy and positivity that really comes across. And we need more folks like you, particularly more women in tech as well, to sort of fly that flag, to be an accessible role model for those wanting to get into this space. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for inviting us. It's been really fun. OK, so that's testosterone out. So essentially, this is kind of purring on my, on my wrist. Yeah. What am I supposed to be feeling now? Um, so basically, we started out with a very low setting, um, which is on the preset ones. There are two on the device, a low one and a high one. And this one is around 60 BPM. Um, so it should be helping you calm down. It's quite low intensity, and it should kind of slowly fade into the background as you calm down. OK, so I'm calm right now, but say I wanted to increase it and sort of stay a lot more energised and focused, what would I need to do? Well, you do a very simple kind of motion. Um, you'd give it a press at first to go to the higher setting, which would make you more alert. And then you'd increase the intensity by turning the bevel upwards. Mm -hmm. um, and then you kind of can decide how intense you'd like it to be. So I can feel it now, so it was on a nice purring sort of sensation and now it's really kind of gained intensity and I can imagine being at your sort of desk doing work, that really making a, a big change. So is, is, is that now meant to like keep you alert, keep you focused? Um, absolutely, anything from kind of a focus or productivity aid all the way up to helping you cadence during a run and that's kind of where the intensity control becomes important. Mm. It's astonishing that the creators of Double are finding ways to actually affect our mood. Yeah, and Nell, together with her team, some might say we're an unlikely group of folks who got together, but then they created something that Danny and I do believe will be part of the next wave of wearables. And yet, while they're all millennials, the most crucial thing here really is that they're certainly all trailblazers. Thank you for watching. I'm just gonna open with like precious, precious Can I be Yoda? If you want, if you're, <laughs> no. if you're Gollum, I'd be like, mm. You're tuned in to the Trailblazers, where Danny and I are discovering. <laughs> What's up? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wake up, Danny. <laughs> Actually affect our mood. Yeah, and Nell and with her father. <laughs> we have created a ring that buzzes or vibrates to alert you to texts, phone calls, or messages. Texts? 